Okay, welcome to the rendering segment of the After Effects basic training series. So you're all done, you made your video, you made your titles, and you're ready to render it out to import into your project, your editing program, or wherever you wanna burn it to a DVD or a CD. You're all done, how do you render it out? How do you get it out of After Effects? Well, here's your composition. It's all done. What you do is you choose Composition, Add to Render Queue. The render queue is the key. Now, oh, I'll show you one other cool thing with the user interface. If you hold down control, you can drag panels and make them float. And that way they don't all have to be kind of stuck together. We've now added this composition to the render queue. And we have our settings, output module, and our output to. Output to, meaning where do we want to save it to? And what do we want to save it as? Our render settings, Usually best is the way to go. And then our output module. Output module is the most important part here. This is where we tell it what settings to use. Now, there's a million settings. There's AVIs and, and QuickTime and all these different formats. Well, I'm gonna tell you today that the easiest one to use is QuickTime. Now, you're gonna come across specialized codecs and you're gonna come across reasons why other codecs might be better for certain situations. But for the most part, QuickTime is a real easy, real good way to render your video. So I'm gonna choose my output module, click on the lossless, and we get our settings here. We're gonna change our format to QuickTime, and then we get our options to choose what QuickTime settings we wanna use. Now, there's two in here that I kinda of recommend. Animation, if you have the hard disk space, animation is great, but it's uncompressed, and the files are huge. If file size is gonna be a problem, Photo JPEG is a really high quality Kodak that has pretty reasonable file sizes. And you can also bring this uh, percent down and if you hold down Alt, you can kind of go to about 95. And if I choose OK, I now have set it to Photo JPEG. I can also output audio or not. Usually I don't work with audio in After Effects, but you can if you would like. You can stretch and crop the output based on all these settings. Then I choose OK tell it where I want to save it, and I'm going to call this, you know, mall.mov. Then I click Save, and then I click Render. It's going to render the footage out, and when it's done, it's going to chime. You can take that file, import it into your video editor, and you're all set. Of course, in the output module, you can do a few other things. You can change the format. You can set it to render for a DVD. You can render to an FLV, which is helpful. Um, in After Effects 7, to render to an FLV, which is a flash layer video, choose Effect, Export, FLV. Now, I recommend not ever using the export function for movies. Um, it's really just not a really good way to export out of After Effects, and I know it's probably the most commonly used way, but in After Effects, use the render queue. Better quality and easier to manage. You can find files. For example, if I go to Window, bring the render queue back up. Say I'm looking for the file, I can toggle the output module, and it's gonna tell me right where that file is, and then I can click on that, in fact, and it actually brings the folder up where that file is located. It also gives you some settings, no. Now, when you render files out, in the project window, we have eight bits per channel. Now, sometimes color banding will occur and you wanna render out 16 bits per channel. So, if you hold down Alt, click on this, and you'll see 16. Now, 32 bits, until you know what 32 bits per channel is, don't use it. But just, you know, look into it. But for the most part, you won't need to use that unless you're doing, you know, feature film, high-end compositing. Um, so 8 bits, 16 bits is the way to go. For now, that's the end of the After Effects basic training series. Hope you guys at least have a handle on After Effects now and you're ready to tackle some of the more advanced tutorials at videocopilot.net. And I encourage you to watch the tutorials, but to think of ways you can use those effects and those techniques for completely different things. So remember, always be thinking of creative possibilities, and you will go far with this program. Um, I got nothing else to say. I am tired. I've been doing this for hours. What is wrong with me? I don't know. Anyway, 
enjoy yourself and uh, now you can start writing After Effects on your resumes and your job applications, you know. I will vouch for you. If you go through this basic training, I say, look, I know that guy, he's a good guy, and uh, you know, I recommend him to all the employers out there. So, there you go. My name's Andrew Kramer, and I will see you guys at videocopilot.net.